asks, will I not complete half of my deen if I don't ever get married? And does that mean that if I don't get married, I'll be lacking in my religion? The Prophet ﷺ in a very beautiful hadith, he talks about the fact that somebody who marries properly and does right by that marriage and does right by their spouse and the responsibilities that come with the family, then فَقَدْ إِسْتَكْمَلَ نِسْفَ iman, then that person has completed half of their faith. Not half the deen, half of their faith. Okay, there's a difference there. There's a significance, right? That he's not talking about necessarily the deen, the religion, right? But more so he's talking about iman. And again, somebody, let's just ask the follow-up question. And does that mean that if I don't get married for whatever the reason may be, that I will be lacking half my iman? No. More so what it means is that there's just a lot of exercises of faith that Family, having a family, being married, having responsibilities that come along with having a family, there are certain exercises of faith that that facilitates, right? So for instance, there's a certain amount of patience that you can only truly know when you share every single aspect of your life with another person, right? When somebody invades your personal area, your personal space, your life, right? Even your thoughts, your time, to the extent where they're completely merged together, there's certain elements of patience, there's certain elements of selflessness, there's certain elements of kindness, mercy, generosity, forgiveness, that you will only be able to exercise and practice in those types of circumstances. Not necessarily, but for the most part, absolutely, right? There are certain elements of responsibility, and again, you know, kindness, and, 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 uh, mercy, that is only possible to really, really practice when you are completely and solely responsible for the existence and kind of the, the, the health and the maintenance of another human being, like having a child, right? Where all that responsibility of that human being is upon you, like holding a little newborn in your hand and you're solely responsible for the survival of this little baby and child. Of course, the life is in the hands of Allah, but Allah's put that responsibility in your hands. So that's what the Prophet was referring to when he talked about, you really learn a lot about your faith in those moments. You learn to have faith. Do you understand? I still remember when my first child was born, me and my wife, Maryam, my oldest daughter, may Allah protect her, um, you know, we were just enamored with this gift and this treasure, this blessing from Allah. And we were like, just, you know, uh, around the baby for as long as we could, 16 hours, 18 hours, 20 hours. And when it was time to put the baby to sleep, we couldn't physically go to sleep. <gasps> what if something happens? What if she doesn't breathe? What if she coughs? What if she sneezes? And that's when you learn to put your faith and your trust in Allah. So those are the types of things the Prophet is talking about. But no, if you do not end up getting married, you do not lack in your religion in any way, shape or form. And Allah knows best.